wherever you are, I choose to believe that you are well by the grace of God, and I am happy for that. In Genesis chapter 2, reading 16 and 17, the Bible tells us, And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayst freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. In that statement, we find obey and disobey, eat or don't eat. Condensed to one word, we find choice. Listen to the familiar wording of the fourth commandment. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember carries with it the possibility of forget. So again, we have two choices. A person can remember at the request of God, or a person can forget at his or her own impetus or leaning or preference. When the Bible says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, the choice is left to the believer, the individual to decide, will I obey or will I disobey? Obedience, you see, my listening friend, is not something that happens automatically. Obedience must be a conscious process of choosing, choosing, choosing God's way as opposed to my way or your way. And any way opposed to God's way is really the devil's way, even though it may be expressed through us. There is a very powerful psychological principle. It's known to everyone virtually. The more you do something, the better you become at doing it, good or bad. This is how habits are formed. The more you observe the seventh day Sabbath from your heart, the more likely you are to continue doing that. The more you disobey by forgetting the fourth commandment, by forgetting the seventh day Sabbath. And when I say forget, biblically, to forget is to not act upon. Biblically, to remember is to act upon. So God remembered Abraham and he sent Lot out of the fiery furnace of Sodom and Gomorrah. God remembered the sins of Babylon and God sent judgment. Revelation 18. To remember biblically means to act upon. To forget then is to not act upon, even though you may know that the seventh day is the Sabbath, by choosing not to observe it, you are simply choosing to forget it. My listening friend, obedience and disobedience are choices. So when God told Adam, you may eat of those trees, do not eat of this one, God presented Adam with choices and not even God could decide what choice Adam would made, not would make, not even Lucifer or Satan could decide or could have decided what choice Adam should make. Not even God, my listening friend, can decide for you or for me whether or not we will keep his holy day Sabbath. He presents the command to us. He tells us, remember, you and I now have to choose between remember by acting upon it or forget by not acting upon it. As you keep the Sabbath holy today, as you contemplate keeping the Sabbath, if you're not a Sabbath keeper, remember, the more you choose to disobey God's command, whether it's the fourth or the eighth or the sixth, the more difficult it will be for you somewhere down the line to make a decision to turn around. It will not be impossible, just difficult and a challenge. On the other side, the bright side, the side that puts a smile on the face of God, the more you obey from your heart, the more likely you are to continue in that pathway of obedience. And so remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Make a choice to remember is to act upon something as verily as God gave Adam and Eve choices. So verily he gives you and me a choice when he tells us, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Choose. Obedience, I say again, is a choice. An obedient life is a life of 
constant choices to obey God, to please God. May the Lord smile upon you as he sees you obeying his seventh day Sabbath, obeying his commandment, which was ordained to life. Happy Sabbath and God bless you.